Jade drone here, and I think there's something wrong with my lens. My striker is green. No, I'm joking. This is a striker from World Tech Toys. This is the glow in the dark version. Controller looks awesome. The striker looks awesome. Green's my favorite color. Uh, so this is just awesome all around. I've done a lot of reviews on the striker, the white and red version, and I'm sure this will hold up just like that one has. And we're going to take this for a flight. Today is March 3rd, 2016. Just bound the quadcopter. We're going to record. And here we go. Wow, that lifted pretty quick. I don't know. Yeah, wow. I don't know if they have different motors on the glow in the dark version, if it's an upgraded model, or if I'm just used to using my old striker and the motors are a little bit tired from all the flights that I've put on it, and this these are fresh motors. Um, but that went up really quick, and it's up there. I've had the striker, not this one obviously, but I've had the striker out in two degree weather. I've had it out in extreme snow, extreme wind. Striker is a good quadcopter. Um, it's comparable to your Siemens of this size. Uh, I was speaking to somebody and they were talking to me about their SEMA, I think it's the X5, that's just like this, saying, oh, it can go 100 meters and this and that, and the striker can only do this and that. It's not as good as this, and I've taken the striker well above 700 feet. Recorded it like this isn't just a fishing story. I recorded it. You can go on my channel and check it out. Um, well over 700 feet, which is well over 200 meters. This doesn't have your headless mode. It doesn't have your return home. This is your bread and butter. This is your plain Jane quadcopter. It does have recording features and a standard standard megapixel uh, camera. It's nothing high def, but uh, you get your money's worth from this. You can see how high I have it. It's a spec. I'm not losing, uh, not losing control. It's staying connected to the controller. This is very responsive. It does have a higher speed mode which I suggest you fly in the lower speed until you get used to it. When I first started I didn't like flying in the higher speeds because it was too responsive but as you get better at flying these you'll figure out how to adjust the throttle and how to adjust the down pitch back pitch left pitch right pitch. This does have your aerial features your flips back and front and barrels left and right. Look at that color that's amazing. And this does glow in the dark. It's not just that uh, it's thin clear plastic that the lights will illuminate through it, which they will at night because my other striker does the same thing. But if you take this out in from outside into a dark room, it actually glows, uh, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, at night, if you do lose it and it does get unbinded from your controller or the battery terminal gets loose, it's going to glow. It's going to be pretty easy to find. And if you can see off in the distance, there's a Jeep over there. I am recording this, so uh, you have to check my channel out because I'll, I'll post pictures of what I got of that Jeep from the striker's point of view. Green striker. It's March, St. Patrick's Day. Green. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know. I'm a little bit over enthused over the color green. It's uh, Irish. like the color green. Birthdays in March. It kind of all coincides with one another. And for visual flight, the sky is not green. Um, you can keep your eye on this a lot better in the sky. Uh, the other striker is white from the bottom. You do have your indicator lights that if you keep an eye on them you should be alright but you're not going to lose this in the sky as easily as you would the other striker.
just because of the bright color. Now when spring comes in full bloom and all this dead grass is green, you might have an issue if you lose it on the ground, but then again you don't come across lime green grass that often. And there's that Jeep. Yeah, we're going to hover around and uh, not going to get too close. I don't want to make anybody mad, but we're going to see what type of video we can get off of this. And this is essentially my backyard. People uh, go quadding back here, fly drones back here, um, drive jeeps back here, trucks, go hunting. It's a huge wide open space. It's uh, very nice. You guys are probably thinking, what the heck is this green thing floating near my vehicle? And seeing me standing off in the distance. I'd venture to say the Jeep's probably going maybe five mile an hour. I've driven my car back here and I think that's what I've been going on a stretch. And the striker's having zero issues staying up with it. I'd really like to get something kind of like uh, the altitude meter that I have, but for mile per hour, like how fast it's going, like take it straight down and bring it back and have it tell me exactly what the speed is. Did you see how fast this came back? These things fly fast. And again, this is the glow in the dark striker from World Tech Toys. If you have a striker, you like the striker, I highly suggest you getting another striker. <laughs> I have four of them. Um, one I have a motor down on, the other one's still fresh in the box. This one uh, I just took out of the box. And the other one I have lots and lots of flight time on. I believe those lights were uh, might have been blinking, so we're gonna bring this back and see if we go ahead and give it a good catch. Let's see, they're blinking. Yeah, we're gonna bring it back in. I'm J Drone. I hope uh, you enjoy my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I have lots that I'm gonna continue to do. That's a good catch. Have a good day.